So I'm going to start out by recognizing that we are gathered here today on Treaty 6 territory, which is a traditional meeting grounds, gathering place and traveling route for the Cree, Blackfoot, Soto, Métis, Dene, and Nakota Sioux. We acknowledge the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people who have marked these whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries and who still live in this place. We also want to recognize today that our city does sit on the lands of the Papas Chase Cree. Um, I also want to apologize. We had hoped to have an elder here today, but because of the powwow and some other events going on, we weren't able to arrange for someone to be here. But I want to specifically acknowledge that today is um, Orange Shirt Day. And I'm fighting with the wind. <laughs> Uh, Orange Shirt Day, a day to mark the legacy of residential schools, to honor the survivors, and to remember the children lost. It is also a day to re reflect on the systems of colonialism and racism that continue to affect the lives of Indigenous people in Canada, and to commit to the work of truth and reconciliation. We are all treaty people and have a responsibility to learn to live together in the spirit of those agreements. So, first I'm going to start out, my name is Bridget Sterling, I am uh, in my other life, I'm the Vice Chair of the Edmonton Public School Board, but I'm here today as a concerned member of the community and as somebody who thinks that the role of leaders and ordinary citizens is to speak up when we see hate happening in our city and to encourage a community where we live together in peace. So I'm going to start out by talking a bit about the Hate for Yag campaign. Hate for Yag began as a group of ordinary people concerned with the rise of hate gangs in our communities. We reject the legacy of these racist, anti-immigrant, anti-refugee, white nationalist hate gangs, and we want to do something about it. We believe in an Edmonton where everyone is welcome and can feel safe. And so we will be approaching community leaders, organizations, and businesses to help address this problem at the local level. So if you think about how sometimes you'll go to a business or a space and you'll see the rainbow flag displayed to support, show support for the LGBTQ plus community, we will be pushing for something similar for businesses and other organizations to take the Hate Free Egg pledge and to show they are similarly a safe and welcoming establishment and that they reject anyone who would bring hate into our community spaces. But to succeed, we do need to become bigger than just a few people. We need to have conversations with businesses and organizations throughout the city, and that's a big job. So if you haven't already, please find one of our volunteers. They're out in the crowd today and let them know that you want to join in and you want to help. Additionally, you can find one of our volunteers and sign up with your information so we can send you Hate Free Egg stickers, posters, and information pamphlets for your own home or workplace. And even if you don't sign up today, please have conversations like this with your friends, your family, your neighbors, your community. If you'd like us to make a presentation or speak with your group, you can also email us at hatefreeegg at gmail.com and we'll organize a time to meet. You can find us on Facebook <laughs> at Hate Free Egg and on Twitter at Hate Free Egg as well. Once again, so that's the best way to get in touch with us is through the site or through the email. Uh, but we really hope that you'll sign up today to participate and be part of this growing community movement.